and time for that. All right, guys, time for the Q and A. I got a lot of questions here, so let's get it started as soon as possible. First question comes from the Pyro Theory, who asks. Question for Gary. Have you ever been a fan of THQ, Nick games, licensed games on PS2 or Xbox? As a little kid, I always used to play those games for sure. Battle for Bikini Bottom, the movie game, Fairly All Parents Breaking the Rules, and a copy of the Jimmy Neutron games as well. I never made far enough progress and I would just replay the beginning over and over again, but it was good fun in my childhood. The second question comes from Agnes Theo to the what? He has three questions. One, have you ever reviewed any anime movies? I've watched plenty of anime movies, but I have yet to actually review one in the video. The second he asks, why did you choose Gary to be your icon? I chose Gary mainly because I really like his character and nobody has really done it yet on the internet, so why not? And the third question is, how did you meet Josh? I met Josh in 2013 after I discovered Peter Rabbit on Nick Jr. I was shy about it because I liked a cartoon made for freaking five-year-olds, but I found his YouTube channel reviewing it and realized, hey, I'm not alone. We bonded and became friends since then. The next question is by Om Nom and Nugget, who asks two questions. The first is, what Cartoon Network shows are your favorites? I like Unikitty and The Amazing World of Gumball. My favorites are definitely Steven Universe and Adventure Time. Great stories, characters, animation, and plenty of episodes that inspired me for my own imagination. And second, he asks, what mobile games do you remember playing as a kid? I remember playing Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, and Adventure Capitalist. When I was a kid, I was rocking games on my Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS iPhones and Androids weren't a thing yet. The next question comes by Bly the Penny Bicycle 21, who asks a uh, bunch of questions here. Number one, what would be your favorite preschool cartoons from Disney Junior, Nick Junior, and PBS Kids? When I was super young, like toddler level, I actually used to watch Teletubbies a lot. Either that or Toy Story, over and over. I grew up mainly watching Dora the Explorer, Oswald, and plenty of Blue's Clues, so I was definitely more of a Nick Jr. kid. The second question is, do you think 2D animation can be brought back to theaters on a consistent basis, and not just every now and then? To add to that, a 2D animated movie not based on an IP, like a TV show or franchise. I really hope so. As much as I think 3D animation is great and is steadily approving more and more as the years go on, 2D animation just always impresses me much more. The demand for it is increasing lately though, so hopefully bigger studios will recognize this. 3. Have you seen videos of Mikey Chen checking out various restaurants and fast food places? I recommend the video about McDonald's in Italy serving tiramisu. Nope, I never watched Mikey Chen's videos. However, I do sometimes watch food related videos because I'm fat. And finally, DreamWorks started entering the preschool market in 2019 with shows like Where's Waldo, Archibald's Next Spec Thing, and Madagascar's A Little Wild, even though they're not usually known for that. With this in mind, do you think it's a good idea for Cartoon Network to re-enter the preschool market with Cartoonito? For our business practice, it's a good idea. Preschool cartoons seem to be doing well nowadays, compared to the millions and millions of views kids' videos usually get on YouTube. So if Cartoonito can pull it off, then good for them. As long as it doesn't overtake their regular programming. Just needs a good balance. Next four questions come by Jeffy. His first one is, what's your best and worst show and why? Favorite show is probably Breaking Bad. Worst show? Mm, I'm not sure on that one. I haven't seen any shows that's been outright terrible. The second question is, how did you become Josh's editor? I became his editor when I asked if I could edit a Powerpuff Girls video for him back in 2016. He really loved what I did with it and I just kept on going. Some of their earlier videos are a little rough, but I improved as I went on. The third question is, what's your favorite South Park episode? That's a tough one. I've seen every episode of this show a thousand times and I have plenty of favorites. I guess for now, I can single out the Imagination Trilogy from Season 11 just for how insane it is, and really not much people talk about it, surprisingly. His last question is, will you review the Paw Patrol movie? Mmm, I don't know. That seems more like Josh's territory, if anything. I don't hate Paw Patrol, but it's not really my thing, either. The movie does look nice, though. I like the updated models in the pups. The next question comes by VideoBird300, who asks, Would you ever review the first episode of The Patrick Star Show? Again, that's more like Josh's thing. I don't have much interest in watching it, to be honest. Same goes for Camp Coral. The next question comes by the terrific Rotten Princess, who asks, What's your favorite movie? Bambi for sure. I adore animation, and that's the movie that made me realize that it'll be my passion. I consider the movie art, honestly. Just a beautiful film. Next question is by Germany Blob Animations, who asks, Question for Gary, what's your favorite Nickelodeon show and why? I've enjoyed many Nicktoons over the years, such as Spongebob, Fairly Odd Parents, My Life as a Teenage Robot, etc, etc. But for Nicktoons, it's probably Ren and Stimpy. Such a gross, screwed up, insane thing to watch, and I love every second of it. But for an actual show, it's probably Drake and Josh. I enjoyed iCarly, but I definitely prefer Drake and Josh. The next question is by Dorcos Moro, who asks, Six questions! Holy crap! First is, what's your thoughts on Cartonito and what are you looking forward to watch? 
I'd say Lucas the Spider. What's your thoughts on Animaniacs reboots? I haven't seen it yet, but it looks nice. I'm glad they brought it back with respect as well. They didn't try to ruin it or anything. Do you like Bluey, yes or no? Bluey is really good, actually. I've only seen three episodes, but Sleepy Time especially is fantastic. What is your favorite movie? Bambi, boom! What is your least favorite movie? Well, the movie I hated the most last year was Scoob, so <laughs> I guess it's that for now. And how do you meet Josh? Peter Rabbit Show and Nick Jr. Boom! Next question comes by a commercial break. Did you watch the Binocula TV show, or do you think there will be a baby Binocula TV show? I remember watching a bit of it when it first aired, but I don't remember too much of it, honestly. Next is 80 Snork Lover, who asks, Are you a big fan of Adult Swim? If so, then what is your favorite classic Cartoon Network show you would love to see getting a good revival in Adult Swim? Yep, I've watched plenty of Adult Swim. My favorites are Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Squid Billies, and Home Movies. Home Movies would be my favorite classic show, though, and it would be nice to see a revival of it, to see how the characters have aged and such. Next is 5 questions from the Bio Money Cash. The first is, what is your favorite Disney animation movies? I'll say my top three. Bambi, The Lion King, and Zootopia. But there's many 9 out of 10s that's really close, like The Fox and the Hound. What is your opinion on Tom and Jerry movie 2021? It's really bad! What is your favorite DC superhero and superhero movie? I'm more into Marvel, but I did enjoy Man of Steel quite a bit. From Marvel, definitely Infinity War. Next is, what is your opinion on Godzilla vs. Kong? Eh, it's cool I guess. I don't have much interest in seeing it at the moment though. And finally, what is your favorite Pokemon series? I haven't watched any Pokemon series since I was like 10, but I did enjoy the recent movies, I Choose You and Power of One. Next is T.Y. Neves, who asks, 10 questions! Oh my god! 1. Do you like the movie Fargo? Haven't seen it, but I know it's acclaimed. 2. Have you met any celebrities? If so, were they nice? Nope, haven't met any. 3. Do you like Pop-Tarts? Yeah, I usually snack with the strawberry ones. Raw. 4. Who are your favorite ranters on YouTube? I'd say LS Mark for his brute honesty, and YMS for his deep criticism. But those are more reviewers than anything. 5. Do you have any pets? Yep, I have a dog named Nibble. He sucks. 6. What's your favorite soft drink? Orange soda or Sprite for me. Number 7. Do you like DirecTV? I never used it. 8. What's your favorite board game as a kid? I used to play a ton of Connect 4 and Candyland. 9. Have you ever played a video game that disappointed you? And if so, what was the name of it? I'd say Pokemon Shield. I was expecting to really enjoy it, but it left a lot to be desired. It had some interesting ideas, for sure, but they kind of missed the mark. And 10. What are your favorite foods? Salmon and Chinese food are top tiers for me. Next is KP Gamings, who asked, Question for Gary, what are your current views on Nickelodeon? Eh, I don't have much to say, considering I don't watch TV regularly anymore, but I'd say Cartoon Network is better. 15 is by Meme Factory, who asks, Question, what's your favorite TV show, and which Spongebob movie is your favorite? My favorite TV show is Breaking Bad, and the first movie is still the best. The second movie was okay, but just had too much going on, and the third movie has way too many problems with it. Number 16 is by Nestor Otter, who asks, How long have you been interested in cinema, and what was your biggest inspiration for this kind of media? Ever since I was a kid, I loved watching movies. Harry Potter, Terminator, all that stuff. But in 2007, I got a strong interest in horror films and collected like 300 of them. Then I switched to animation, but I enjoy many other movies as well, such as First Man, The Father, Drive, and Mother. That Disney and Looney Tunes fan, 156, asks, Question for Gary, did you see that Rick and Morty's in Space Jam 2? Yep, that surprised me. Wasn't expecting that brief cameo at all. 18 is by Tazbeth Xavier 98 who asks, Has there ever been an animated movie that you found to be bad, but people always found to be very good? And has there been a movie that you watched in the past that always been nostalgic to you? Hmm, I wouldn't say bad, but Spider-Verse. I thought the movie was just fine, with the visuals and animation being the best part, but everyone just adores this movie with 10 out of 10s everywhere. I wouldn't call it that high. And for nostalgia, I'd say any of the original Pixar movies. Always brings me back to when I was a little kid, for sure. 19 comes by Captain Branch Street, who asks, Question for Gary, what is your favorite guilty pleasure show? Wonder Pets. That is all. 20 by Kawaii Life Antonio, who asks, Question for Gary, what is your favorite streaming service? If so, then what is your favorite thing to watch there? I haven't used Disney Plus or HBO Max too much, but I've used Netflix a lot. I watched the entirety of Soul Eater and many other shows on there. 21 is by Ozzy All, who asked three questions. Number one is, what's your favorite Disney animated shows? I haven't seen too many shows, just Gravity Falls for the most part, which I thought was good, but not amazing. Second question is, have you been into a drive-in movie theater? Nope, I never have. And three, what kind of toys and figurines do you collect? I collect Funko Pops, I've been doing it for about four years now. However, I have a random collection of other things as well, such as pins, trading cards, little figurines, amiibos, and graphic tees. Also, my Roadrunner shrine, can't forget that. You do not want to know how much I paid for him. 
Next question is by Name, who asks, Question for Gary, what's your favorite Spongebob season? Well, everyone knows seasons 1 to 3 are the better ones, so I'd say one of those. I have favorites sprinkled throughout, but for now, mm, I'd say it's season 3. It was when the show had its style of humor down perfectly, before it eventually went downhill with season 6. Next question is by Cameron Parker, who asks, What is your favorite TV shows? Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Next is by Mario? What? What's your opinion on season 4 of Spongebob? Season 4 isn't bad. It has a lot of good gems in there, but there's a few meh ones as well. But still good overall. Next is by Dat Woody Gamer who asks three questions. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? I don't actively go watching terrible movies, but Scoob is definitely up there. What is the worst TV show you've ever seen? Not sure on that one. I'd say Jersey Shore for a safe answer. And three, do you like Total Drama Island? If so, who is your favorite? I never watched Total Drama. I always used to just skip as a kid in favor for Chowder or something else. Next is by Entertainment Brothers who asks, is it fun working with Josh? Yeah, it is. We share each other's scripts, recordings, work together on what parts to edit in, edit out, and I've enjoyed my time being his editor. Being his best friend helps even more. Next question is by Bernice Wernyo, I think. What are your thoughts on Fina, Pirate, Princess coming to Crunchyroll and Adult Swim's Tsunami Block in August 14th, 2021? No idea what that is. Do you make your own animated shorts? I'm getting there. I'm finishing up my short series, The Werebird, which has been in hiatus for God knows how long but I have plenty of ideas. Three, are you reviewing Hotel Transylvania 4, Transformania? Yeah, why not? I enjoyed the first two movies, though I've never seen the third. And the last question is, do you love snails? I honestly think they're cute. Look at them. Look. Next question is by Thomas Bush. He asks three questions. One, do you like SpongeBob? Of course, it's a childhood show. There was a period in 2013 though when I was absolutely tired of it, mainly due to my little brother watching nothing but the ScumBob episodes and just showing me how bad the show has gotten. But recently I've regained my love for it, hence me becoming Gary. Two, do you remember a show called Blue's Clues? Speaking of childhood shows, Blue's Clues was one of my most watched as a kid. I think I saw every single episode of the Steve era and also quite a few of the Joe era. And three, how old are you? I'm 23 years old right now, though I swear, I look and feel like a 16 year old. Next question is by the Gatorade guy. Do you hope Good Luck Charlie gets a revival series in the next few years? What is that? Oh, never seen it, so I'm not sure what to say. Next question is by Deco's Memes Uwu, who asks, What is your favorite story-driven cartoon out right now? Well, Steven Universe used to be my top favorite when it comes to that, but it recently ended. I haven't seen much series since then, just movies. Though, I did see the entirety of Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beasts on Netflix, which I thought was pretty good, although I didn't feel the last season had some problems. Next question is by Freddy Studio, who asks, What made you start your channel? This is actually my fifth or sixth YouTube channel? I've made many channels over the years for many reasons. Reviews, music videos, South Park intro edits, and many more. But at the moment, my channels are The Funko Frog, where I showcase new releases of pops I get and my collection, Alexander Animations, where I post my cartoon content, and now Gary the Editor, which so far is just random things I put together. Next question is by Jacob Listigan, who asks, Hi Gary the Editor, I have a question. What is your opinion of the Disney Channel show 101 Dalmatian Street, and when is your favorite animal and why you like it? I actually haven't seen it yet, but I do like their art style. But I have seen the original 101 Dalmatian cartoon from the 90s. I love Cat Pig. My favorite animal keeps changing. It's always wolves, birds, or rodents. I love them all. Wolves for how elegant they are, birds for how interesting they are, and rodents for the sheer cuteness. Next question is by Epicness of Awesome, who asks, What are your favorite obscure cartoons? Leafy, A Hand into the Wild is one of my favorite animated movies, coming from Korea. It has a lot of heart in its story, even though it may seem a bit over the top and ridiculous. I still love it so much. Another one I really love is Bird Boy and the Forgotten Children, a masterclass of a dark fantasy story that's so well done. And the last question. It comes from Mark Rojas, who asks, Do you remember Wild Wild Webzy? Yeah, I watched it a bit as a kid. That's it. Alright, so... <laughs> that's the Q&A, guys. I want to thank every one of you for providing the questions, and I hope my answers were satisfactory. This was a great way for you all to get to know me a little more, and I'm very happy about it. If you made it this far, here's a cookie. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next review, guys. Thanks for watching.